I know what you're thinking. How can I recover from last episode of Blast on the Past Gaming with that horrible Mega Man experience? You guys all had a laugh. I know you guys are probably tweeting over on Twitter, commenting down in the comment section. God, BGA, please do never do that again. That, that was horrible. But guys, I am back. So hey, everybody, it's Video Gaming Asian, the Asian sensation that is always here in gaming. Welcome you all back for some more Blast on the Past Gaming. As you guys can see, today's game is indeed the all-too-familiar classic Super Mario Bros. for the NES. I'm excited to play this game because this is once again a game that I know very well from my childhood and I'm probably a lot better at than Mega Man hopefully so let's go ahead and jump in and have a blast here World 1-1 one -one. This is the one with the mushroom, right? Now there is a s- oh, wait, I forgot. If you go over too far, you won't be able to go back. Leave no Goomba unsmashed. That is the rule of Mario. Flower power! Alright. So, let's go a little bit to the past here and talk about this great, fantastic game of our childhood. Everyone knows Mario. Everyone loves Mario. He's got so many great games. He's got Galaxy Sunshine, his brother Luigi. He's got some pretty good games. I actually like Luigi a lot more than Mario, by the way. But you can't play as Luigi in this one. But in the later remakes and ports of this game, they have made it possible. Oh, wait. I'm invincible. Ha! But, aside from that, guys, how great is Mario in all reality? I mean, he is the highlight of Nintendo. We all like Pokemon. We all like Metro. We all love Zelda. I don't know why I'm taking forever to get this block here. But, um, in all reality, guys, Mario is... Wow, are the physics in Mario whack or what? Okay, I'll let you go. Um, but yeah, no, Mario is a great game. I have to say that I don't play a lot of it, but when I do, there's never a time that I don't have a lot of fun. If I had a question of the day for today's Blast on the Past gaming pertaining to the Mario game, I would ask you guys, what is your favorite Mario game of all time? We've had so many. Now, if you guys say Mario Maker, that does not count, because Mario Maker is indeed a Mario game, but at the same time, you are just doing... I messed that up. You are just kind of doing this. But in the end, I don't want to be unfair and kind of narc on Mario games at all. So you can say Mario Maker if you want, because I have to say Mario Maker was a lot of fun. I didn't have it for that long because I did have to eventually let it go for reasons that I wish not to share. But it was a fun game. But I have to say my all-time favorite game from Mario would actually have to be 3D World. I do like the whole cat uh, thing. Yes, I'm missing intentionally a lot of Goombas. But at the same time, I'm trying to get um, back on my Mario group here for a second. Oh, hey, Goomba. How you doing? Now, I remember there is a secret in this one. I think I already passed it. Maybe I haven't. But, um, yeah, you can go to the top of the underground level here and just bypass everything. It is... What was that?! Well, <laughs> back to start. But yes, Mario 3D World, uh, going <laughs> off what I was saying before, I really did like the cat mechanic that they introduced uh, in that game. Oh my god, I thought I had firepower there for a second. Whoa! Um, but no, the cat mechanic was great. The game overall was very beautiful. I found myself lying in bed a lot after I got my Wii U. I just died again. Um, I found myself in bed a lot playing that game, and I just had a blast with it. I'm gonna actually try to focus a little bit, though, because I don't want to. I, I was telling you guys I'm considerably better at this than Mega Man, but still, that still kind of pertains, because, I, you know, we have been actually getting a little bit farther in this game than we were in the last episode. So... Oh, I see where you're going. Where are you going? Oh, is this the one that I can go down? Oh, what? No, I, I, I wanted to be big again. No, nope, that's not the one. Huh. Huh. 
But yes, guys, going back to the topic of Mario, I absolutely do love this game. Was that? How long has that Petey Piranha been there? Anyway, I do love Mario. Of course, he is in Smash. And once again, for the third time in a row, we are playing a game that pertains to a Smash character. But then again, how, of course, could Mario not be in Smash, seeing as how he is Nintendo's... We got them fireworks! I don't exactly remember what that means, but that's that's something, I'm pretty sure. Guys, please remind me down in the comments, uh, co comment section. I've been doing too much recording, I need to stop after this, I think. Please remind me down in the comment section what exactly the firework thing means at the end of the castle. Whoa. While that is a game over, let's go ahead and try that one more time, and then I think we'll end off today's episode after that horrible experience with Mario. Just like Mega Man, I'm not having much luck, but having better luck. Now, something about this game, again, is I did have this for the Game Boy Color, and that's probably where I played it the most. Now, that one, I believe, you did get to play as Luigi. So, but I didn't really know who Luigi was at that point. Alright, so let's try not to lose our flower power this time around. This, this is the star, right? Yep. No. That is. No, that's the flower power. What is... So sorry guys, I literally am not on my A game with these old school games anymore. That's kind of bad. Although last episode I was telling you guys how the game has changed a little bit with me. How the, you know, the, the most recent gen games have kind of dumbed down things for me a bit. I expect things to be really easy. But then when you play games like this, I mean, I'm not saying Mario in a way is too hard. I'm just saying that you definitely see the difference on how games were back then to how they are now. It took skill. It took time. It took a lot of concentration. To be fair, a lot of games like that today don't. I mean, yeah, in Call of Duty, it takes somewhat of strategy and stuff like that. But at the same time, I could easily go ahead and get, like, a 10 kill streak if I just fire around like a total idiot. But... That's not really what happens, though, because in all honesty, Call of Duty never works out for me in that way, and that's how I play it. But, I mean, let's point to a more game we're all familiar with here, Pokemon. You have to, you can't tell me that that game has not been dumbed down a bit. I found that getting the experience share as early as you do in the games is ridiculous! Just as me dying right there. I'm pretty sure I've died there before. Let's roll this one more time. Oh. oh! What is wrong with me? Okay, VGA, let's go ahead and uh, die again. You know what? I just don't think I'm up for this anymore. I think the next episode from Blast from the Past Gaming is going to be a, a game where there's no possible way I could ever, ever lose. And I don't really think there's a game like that. But you know what? I will try to figure out a game that still pertains to Blast... Uh, let's not make the same mistake twice. But we did. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and say that playing with this controller here, that is probably one of the worst things. Because it's not as... I don't know, maybe I can't blame the controller that much. But in the end, guys, that is Super Mario Bros. Ladies and gentlemen, you remember all too well from your childhood, so I hope today was a lot of nostalgia. We didn't get that far, but hopefully you guys will go ahead and go find your copies of this game, or if you still have them for that matter, and go pick it up and do a lot better than I did. But as usual, guys, if you enjoyed the content that you viewed in today's video, be sure to hit that like button right at the bottom of the video. Tell me how I'm doing. Do you like this series so far? We got a couple more episodes to go, and that'll pretty much wrap it up. Of course, if you did not enjoy the content that you viewed in today's video, you can be sure to hit that dislike button right at the bottom of the video, right next to said like button, but only if you're feeling like you gotta do so, guys. But that's completely up to you, and I'll leave you with just that. So, with all said and done, I'm Video Gaming Asian. Thank you for watching, guys. I will see you next time.